Hi, my name is Elias Vick, and these are my five top tips for working with Paper 2D in Unreal Engine 4. If you're completely new and have never touched Unreal Engine before, I recommend that you watch the tutorials provided by Unreal Engine's YouTube channel. These are both very informative and really helpful when you're starting out. You can also find a 2D side scroller template within the new project category when you're creating a new project. I recommend that you take a look at this and break it down to find and get to know how all the blueprints are made up and a bit of how you can create your own side scroller game. There are currently a lot of problems with Unreal Engine 4's Paper 2D plugin, and that is because the Unreal Engine 4's development team will not really focus on updating those plugins and tools. So I want you to bear that in mind if you ever decide to go down the route of actually using Paper 2D. Also, it's important to know that you have to do a lot of tweaking and manual workarounds to actually make functions that you think should work uh, to actually work. I'm going to leave a link in the description to another video that will show you how you can fix the yellow tint within the tile map. Try to fit most of your textures onto a single tile set. It will help you to stay organized and reduce the file size of the game. And if you decide to use multiple tile sets, I recommend that you make a template for yourself so you can actually line up the previous tile set with the new tile set so that when you change the tile set in the tile map, the entire tile map will change into that new tile set. You can optimize your game by disabling different types of post processing effects, such as auto exposure, ambient occlusion, bloom, and motion blur. This can be done by going into project settings. And under Engine, select Rendering, and in here you can enable or disable different settings. If you're creating a game with a pixel art style, you want to make sure that the camera is going to be set up in conjunction with the game's final resolution. If this setup is done incorrectly, you might end up with your pixels being stretched and not looking as you want them to. This is covered in detail over at Unreal Engine's YouTube channel. I'm going to leave a link in the description covering this topic. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If I forgot something and you think I should have mentioned it, please leave a comment in the comment section and I'll take a look at it. Have a nice day and I'll see you soon.